This is a 1974 Volkswagen Standard Beetle. This is not a Super Beetle. It's a Standard Beetle. It has the twin torsion bar front end. It was uh, restored to this uh, condition in 2010. It has four-wheel disc brakes. You can see the tires are like new. Since restoration it has very few miles. has custom fiberglass fenders front and rear they're two and a half inches wider than stock with matching fiberglass running boards paint job is very high quality and this vehicle has won numerous awards and many for its paint job. The interior is a charcoal tweed with chrome accents. Basically the car is red with black with chrome accents. Full instrumentation in the dash. Stereo system with SD card, USB, auxiliary, so forth. In the rear, we have some 6x9 triaxial speakers. Again, the whole thing is upholstered with the teal, or uh, yeah, the tweed, I mean, uh, charcoal, tweed. And most things are new, such as uh, the visors, the dash, so forth windshield, carpet, now in the back here underneath this center cover are 44 100 amp per hour lithium batteries. The back compartment is just storage. Again, the two and a half inch wider custom fenders. has the deck lid offset for additional cooling with again some chrome accents including the spring so even though it's offset this does have the spring so the deck lid stays up by itself it's powered by a net gain Impulse 9 motor, 9 and a quarter inch motor. And this setup is putting out approximately 76 horsepower and 150 foot pounds of torque. The motor is controlled by a Curtis 500 amp controller.
and the engine compartment is enclosed which keeps all of your um, engine bay components nice and clean. This is a nice little vehicle if you want to just run back and forth to work or to the country club or whatever, those Sunday drives. Depending on the terrain and your driving habits, this is a 50 to 60 mile range vehicle. It's freeway capable, top speed of about 85 to 90 miles an hour. has uh, mirrors on both driver and passenger sides. Like I said, lots of new stuff, all new gaskets, new chrome trim, door handles. All that stuff, all, all new plastic. All new stuff. Nice tail lights. New buckets, lenses. This car represents a over thirty-six thousand dollar investment. But it's being offered for sale. For twenty five thousand. So let's do the math. There was over thirty six thousand dollars invested in that vehicle, and it's being offered for sale for twenty five thousand. That's an eleven thousand dollar savings. Now the conversion cost, less labor, just for the components, was $18,000. That means you're getting the restored bug for only $7,000. There was $18,000 plus invested in paint, upgrades, and restoration. I mean, the thing has a brand new uh, freeway flyer transaxle heavy duty anti-sway bar, uh, new shocks all the way around. I mean, there's a fair amount of upgrades and restoration work that went into it, not to mention an over $10,000 paint job. So that would make the conversion $7,000. Well, the batteries alone, the cost of the batteries and shipping cost more than that. So, no matter how you do the math, no matter how you slice it, looks like a pretty doggone good deal. Well, for more information, visit ev4unow.com and you can uh, click on the EVs for sale, give you more information about the vehicle, the conversion and the restoration. There's also a complete photo gallery showing the car uh, from the time that we purchased it uh, through the conversion process, through the restoration process. So you'll know everything there is to know about that car, as well as we have numerous videos of the car. Uh, we have one where you go for a ride along, well, we have several where we go for a ride along in the vehicle. Uh, and so if you have any questions, uh, you can email us at info at ev4unow.com.